don't ever forget. Don't ever forget that today, July 7th, 1898, 125 years ago, the Hawaiian Islands were officially annexed by the United States that overthrew the monarchy ending the reign of Queen Lili Yukalani. Let me take you back in time. Before Hawaii became part of the United States of America, these beautiful islands were inhabited by friendly people who got there riding canoes. There they built their own kingdom known as the Kingdom of Hawaii, a nation of culture, of language, of rich resources, even if they just inhabited a small group of islands in the middle of the huge Pacific Ocean. But the peaceful island was invaded in 1820 when American missionaries first arrived in Hawaii. They then started to claim lands and fields as if it was theirs, and they used these lands to plant sugarcane that they exported to the United States tax-free, making them tremendous profit. In return, the American missionaries helped the Ali'i or the sacred Hawaiian nobility to establish the sovereign kingdom of Hawaii with constitutional monarchy. But as time passed by, the white men that came to the island for business and to convert the natives to their religion stayed and had children and grandkids of their own. And as the years passed by, the agreement between the United States missionaries and the Hawaiian monarchy began to shift. The exportation of sugarcane in the United States tariff-free became a savory opportunity for the missionaries to put Hawaii under the control of the United States. And thus, a political party known as the Missionary Party was formed. The Missionary Party called for a meeting, bringing an all-white militia to force King Kalakaua to sign a new legislation that will be called later as the Bayonet Constitution. The Constitution stripped native Hawaiians of their rights, diminished the power of the monarchy, and also stopped them from controlling the American missionaries. Four years after signing the treaty, King Kalakaua died, and he was succeeded by his sister, Lili Yukalani. Her reign was driven by a cause to restore power to her people. A stage coup on January 17, 1893, where an estimated 160 U.S. Marines marched to the palace. The Queen was removed from office, and a year after that, the United States stripped Hawaiians of their right to vote or be government employees without signing an oath of allegiance where many natives refused to do so. The people of Hawaii attempted a counter-revolution, which they failed miserably, thereby causing hundreds to be jailed, and six people were even sentenced to death. In exchange for the lives of those who were imprisoned, the Republic, which is already run by the white Americans, made Queen Lili Yukalani sign a document that relinquished her of the throne, and they even imprisoned her in the palace. After her imprisonment, she traveled to Washington, D.C. in her final attempt to free her country from the grasp of the United States. But as the Spanish-American War began a year after her petition, Hawaii was chosen as one of the strategic military location for the United States Army. And on July 7, 1898, President William McKinley declared the islands of Hawaii a United States territory. Today, the Hawaiians are still fighting for their rights, and former United States President Barack Obama, during his presidency, used his power to help Hawaiians to re-establish their government and approve laws that will make it easier for them to file suit in federal courts. The Hawaiians continue to pursue and claim their land, 
away from the control of the United States government because of the manner of how they were claimed as the 50th state of the United States that is against international law. The future of Hawaii and its people remains to be uncertain. And someday, probably, God willing, the Hawaiians will be able to attain their freedom, independence, and self-identity as a people with their history carved by their ancestors continue to be etched not only in their hearts and minds today, but also that of their future generations. And don't ever forget that. And also don't forget to like and subscribe and push that notification bell. You can also put your comments below. This is Double P. Thank you. Don't ever forget.